Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Neil Fenn after a dramatic 1-0 win over Wexford FC. Neil, we had three chances cleared off the line in the second half. You must have thought it was just going to be one of them nights and it wasn't going to go in. Yeah, exactly. I did think that. I thought that you know, the chances that we had um, and the, the way they were ricocheting around the box, it, it wasn't going to be our night. But fortunately for us, Jamie pops up at the death and, um, and gets the winner. The first half, I think, in terms of chances, it was fairly even for both teams. A few half chances for us, two, maybe two chances at most for Wexford through Doherty. But then the second half, you know, we came out with sustained pressure from the team. It seemed that it just wasn't going to come for us. I know Sam had a great volley saved by Chambers. He, he did well tonight for Wexford. Uh, uh, Dobbs had a header cleared off the line, I think, and, and Anto Breslin got in with Dean Bourne. Did you think, you know, watching the game, it was just going to be a draw and, like, you know, you, you were finished at that stage? Yeah, I think in the first half we didn't play well. Again, we we were too slow, too ponderous, too many touches again, just not moving the ball quick enough. And, and to be fair to Wexford, they were organised and, and you know they were they were hitting us on the counter and looked dangerous. Um, but second half came out, we moved the ball a little bit quicker. It was a little bit more of an impetus to our play, um, and you know we were getting we were starting to create a few chances. Obviously, um, like you say, Sam hits a good volley. We get a couple of blocks. Jamie comes on the sun, hits the post, ball rebounds through Sam's legs. Just looked like it wasn't going to be our day. Dobbsy has one clear off the line, hits the lad's face. So it did look like that. But fortunately, you know, the, the boys kept believing all the way along that we could get something out of it. And um, fortunately, we did. You brought on Peter Hopkins and Sean Brennan fairly early enough in the second half. And how Peter made a difference out on that wing and Brennan in the midfield. But, you know, you said it with about probably nine minutes ago, I think Jamie came on and... He took Dobbsy off. Dobbsy went close a few times, but you know Jamie has that height advantage then thrown forward and in the end it paid off a great pass from Dean Zammer in the last few moments and Doyle Thorns with the left foot went into the goal. Yeah, I mean I said to him after the game, it's, it's a squad game. You can't go for a season with just the same players expecting him to do to, to do every week, do the same thing for you. So you need to bring players on as subs, they need to make an impact. Um, and, and the last few times, to be honest, not you know, I'm not seen them any player out there. Our subs haven't done what we've wanted them to do. Um, possibly the last game before that, we were bringing subs and they weren't doing having much of an impact. But two boys today, Peter, or three boys, Peter, Sean, and Jamie, all played their part. I thought Sean was excellent, um, kept the ball for us, kept looking forward, playing people in. Peter was dynamic, he was direct, he was, he was running at players, which is what we want Peter to do. Jamie was. Dangerous, like I say, got on the end of a cross, hit the post and, and, and scored a great goal for us. It was a great win, but next week would be an even tougher challenge away to Bray. The first time away in the Carroll Grounds this year. How do you think that game is going to go? It's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. You know, Bray you know, are a good team. Gaz has gotten, again, well organised with dangerous players. Obviously, we know a few of them from, from here, but, you know, it's going to be, every game is difficult. Every 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 match we play, if we don't if we if we if we don't move the ball quick, if we don't play at a high tempo, then then we we don't look very good. But when we do move the ball quick and like we did when we played Bray right here and pressing, then we look like a good team. Shelbourne had a narrow one 0 win earlier today over um, Bray were playing, and you know they're only they're still only one point ahead of Longford now. Longford are in second. You know we've always been saying the last few weeks. You know it's still early yet. We're still up there, but it's not early anymore. You know we're going into the break next week. Going into the last bit of the season, and we're still up there at the top. Yeah, you know that shows that that's three one nil one nil wins in a row, and we're winning one nil as well. So you've got Drogheda scoring goals for fun at the moment, so they're dangerous. Bray will come back into it, Limerick one again. Cavanti, I'm sure, will, will bounce back. So it'd be, it'd be those six teams again. I would imagine that are going to be fighting it out, and it's sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Sometimes you need the ball to bounce, bounce your way, and today it did. Obviously, with the window coming up now in July, you might be looking to reinforce certain areas. You know, a lot of supporters are wondering, are we getting in such and such a player and such and such? But you obviously, you'll have your eye on a few. Yeah, we've got, you know, names that we that we get sent to us, uh, you know, requests from us. Do you want to take him? This player's available. So we'll get a little bit of a list going and start making a few inquiries ourselves. I think we, I think you do need to bring players in. I think you just need to freshen it up. Um, I think Shells did it last year. Uh, with Paddy Kavanagh and, and Carl Moore in, in July, and it, it gave them a little bit of extra boost kind of into the towards the end of the season. So I certainly think that if you can improve your squad and uh, just make a couple of additions, it freshens it up a little bit. So we'll be looking to do that. With that players coming in, obviously certain players probably will help for the exit of Dora and breaking into the team. Yeah, you, you know, uh, the lads want to play football, and, and unfortunately we can only play eleven and, and, and seven subs. So boys who are not playing and, and not starting and not playing enough minutes, they they will want they will want to play. Um, 
and it, obviously we'll assess every every player as it comes. We can't let everybody go. Uh, Just oh God. before we go, uh, Paul Connor suffered a bad injury against Shells maybe two weeks ago. How was his diagnosis for the rest? Yeah, of he's he's got a cracked cheekbone. I think that's the diagnosis of it. So he'll have to have an up. I think he's having up on Wednesday, so he'll be out for possibly five to six, eight weeks um, post op. So. That's, that's bad for him, you know, it was he's just got his way back into the team as well, he was doing well for us. He's his face on the on the, the railings at the match, so disappointing, but you know, that's generally Hollywood's come in and, and done well, so it's that's the beauty of having a good squad.